and a very warm welcome to the 130th Foundation Day of St. Jena College, Manila. On behalf of the AR Sisters, I would like to thank all the teachers, students, parents, alumni, benefactors, and friends for raising this online event. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in Christ has blessed us from heaven with every spiritual blessing. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. For us to have lived 113 years of grace, which is what we are celebrating today. This year is a blessing from our God and Father in Jesus Christ amidst pandemic. And for this, we must thank God. It was through His presence and guidance, after all, that we are and where we are today. Beyond Thanksgiving, however, and the young man singing and laughing, praying and crying, and go with celebration is and must be the realization of meaning and grace. Today, we gather virtually this 113th founding anniversary with the theme, Life-Giving Retirements, Communicating Truth and Love Towards Unity and Harmony. We are saying that with the anniversary that we are celebrating, we ourselves are life and light to others so as to sustain unity and harmony with each other in the retirement family and with the community we are in. Living with the retirement core values, service-oriented, responsible, charitable, and modest, SRCM. Since 1907, in the existence of St. Rita College, with the name Escuela de Santa Rita, the college has excelled a lot, both academics and spiritual aspects. And when the school offered college courses in 1945, it was renamed St. Rita College. With the efforts of the AR sisters and lay personnel, the basic education department got a certificate from the Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities, PAASCO, in 2010, for the level 2 accredited status. Hopefully, next year, 2021, St. Rita College Manila is preparing the documents for compliance in the level 3 status with God's grace and blessing. Through our 130 years in different ways, we try to put up good faiths of Catholic education, one that we wanted to be a true reflection of our inner heart and soul. But that too, may not have always have come, sometimes rightly, sometimes falsely, maybe not always inspiring. But through it all, our glories and success, our fumbles and stumbles, our failures and our sins, our hopes and our dreams, God has been with us. His grace holding us up in spite of all, and because of ourselves. We also pledge and pray in the midst of our celebration that we will continue to move forward, to live up our name, and faithful to our mission. We look at the new perspective in the new normal education that we have and the scholastic achievement that we must show to the world. In them, we may praise God who has blessed us in Christ. Happy 113th Foundation Day Victorians! One mind, one heart, onward to the Lord. Good morning. Today is a special day, a day of thanksgiving and praise. 
a celebration of God's grace and faithfulness. Today, too, marks the start of a new beginning as we have our 113th Foundation Day. The congregation of the Augustinian Recollect Sisters came to life when God's call found an answer in the hearts of our foundresses, Mother Janisha and Mother Cecilia Rosa Tanampas. Two women from Kadungit Bulacan who were strong in faith, parsing in vision, and courageous in action. The congregation continues today in the mysterious interruption of divine call and human response as St. Rita College Manila Incorporated will heartily continue in delivering Catholic education for the past 113 years. in the years and into the future. 
May our SRCM core values, together with our institutional theme this school year, which is life-giving Rotarians communicating truth and love towards unity and harmony, be the impetus that propels us into the future. Let us begin by remembering our spiritual heritage.
asking for his blessing and help as we are gathered virtually as one family. We pray for God's loving presence as we reflect on his word and live them out with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm. May the Holy Spirit open our hearts and minds to our Lord's presence among us and within us and to the word he has for us today.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Gathered on the hillside with the disciples, Jesus began to teach them, Ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will you give a snake? If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you, for this is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Thy 